guys, I'm Will. Jenny. We are Thrifting Nomads. We wanted to bring you guys a video. Actually, one of the top questions we get on our Instagram is, how do you take those amazing pictures? Our flat lay. What's your flat lay setup? Can you please show us your flat lay setup? So, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna show you guys how we take our pictures, our whole flat lay setup, and how I feel like it's actually very beneficial for us for our backs mm -hmm. instead of taking pictures on the floor mm -hmm. all that good stuff we're going to show you how we get those crisp and clean photos excuse the mess so we had to like move things around just to get this going for you guys and show you guys so when we first started reselling one thing we knew we didn't like was dingy yellow pictures even though we still get them sometimes uh, we get those pictures because they're either a, a white shirt or something that's a lighter color on a white background, we'll give you that dingy yellow, sometimes bluish look. Mm -hmm. um, that's one thing we didn't like. Flat lay kind of leaves your photos, um, well, leaves the, the actual clothing a little more crisp. Yes. No wrinkles or anything like that, which I felt like for us, if our photos showed everything, everything in between every little crinkle, then it would be less likely for returns. And we yep. really don't get returns too, too often. I mean, there's always those dumb buyers, but. Yeah, there's always buyers that don't read your description or see your pictures. We have, uh, our pictures show our measurements and our description will have the measurements written out. So um, our returns, I feel our returns are a lot less. Very low. Um, on our clothing, which is one thing that people, especially women's clothing, that's the one thing that everyone gets returns on all the time. Mm -hmm. Our return is really low on women's clothing, which is really good. Another beautiful part about it too is our backs don't hurt because we're not taking a picture all the way down on the floor it's or we're not staying up. at an angle. Yeah. And that makes it a lot easier too when you're taking the actual photograph because you don't have to worry about being directly above it to get that good um, non-skewed photo. Yep. But because of the angle, you don't, you can just stand a little bit, I like to stand a little bit higher, but you don't even have to. You, I don't have to. Good. I'm taller, so uh, I'm more prone to back problems because I'm a bigger guy. Mm -hmm. So having, when we first started, we had the pictures on the floor. It was a lot more difficult yeah. for us. We were trying to find the daylight. Mm -hmm. we were, it was just, oh my gosh, it was such a headache. So we thought and sat on our heads, what can we build? What can we make to make this process a lot easier for us? We're actually thinking about building some Thing that comes down we do live in an apartment so um, space is crucial we did give up our master bedroom so as you can see our office is our master bedroom uh, sorry again excuse the mess so we're trying to think of ways to um, utilize the space correctly and we're trying to think of a drop down thing which would be would be pretty cool um, so this is what we came up with and I feel like it's really sturdy and it really works very so well what we did to have the stability that we needed was we went and found a pallet at a grocery store in the back of the grocery store you can ask for them sometimes they're nice and they give them to you these were on a dumpster diving adventure we found this one so we didn't have to ask for it we found it next to a dumpster um i do say a disclaimer we stick our tags down there as a disclaimer <laughs> make sure you guys get a pallet that's actually wood yeah. some pallets will be painted a certain color and I will look that up when I upload this video. I think it's green or blue, and those may have those to yeah. toxic materials. Uh, so definitely don't take that home. Uh, but this one was a pretty sweet palette. It was solid wood. It had no mm -hmm. markings on it, and we got it for free, so we took it. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see in a little bit later in the video why it's important to have a really good stability, really good stability in these. Um, boards that you hold for the bottom. Um, yep. So when we first started, we actually used wood as our background. Mm -hmm. We had no idea anything about, you know, white backgrounds, um, but we did like the way this looked on a lot of those like poshy eBay, other, other listings, it was mm -hmm. really nice. So what we did was we actually went into Home Depot and we asked for, uh, we were gonna make our own. We we're gonna make our own wooden like fence. <laughs> and we're just like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so expensive, it's gonna be so heavy, it's this so many issues with it so this guy was like oh well we have like a, a board that kind of looks like you know a, a fence kind of thing and I was like oh let's see it so he brought this out and what it was was this big flimsy board these were our original pictures they're all on the this board right here yeah but it was it's tall this is only half so yes. what they what it is is it's a long tall board that we had them cut in half if you want to ask them at Home Depot, it's called a barn board plank. So that's, that's, they had other ones too. They have like brick and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. That's not the point. Actually, you can pretty much use whatever board you want 
because we actually cover ours now with the white. So we have this for the back and then we have this one that's the flat part. So after last year's eBay Open, eBay Open 2018, everybody on social media was talking about how Google and eBay, they want white images. They want white images and it pops up in ranking better, it pops up on Google and we're like, we gotta do what eBay and Google wants. I want my images out there. Yeah, so we definitely uh, went with the white background. That's why no longer our photos have that wooden background. We did put a white sheet over it and we'll show you that process as well. So the most essential part to this whole entire setup are these bad boys right here. Uh, Ikea likes to call them the Finvard. It's also called a sawhorse mm -hmm. uh, or a trestle. That's another name for them as well. Uh, we paid $20 for them uh, at the Ikea as is section. So uh, I don't know if you have an Ikea next to you, but it's a really it's a great place big to pick up furniture anything. store. Yeah, we, All of our whole computer desk system. Everything we get, we get there. from the as is section. You can actually, instead of going up the stairs and taking the whole shabam, uh, through the whole store, you Find literally check out. You go in through the exit, go through the checkout. It's always towards the back of the store. It's called the as is section. It's pretty much stuff that was on their displays, right? Mm -hmm. All their display Just stuff. Continue stuff. Mm -hmm. So right now online, you can get the Finvard uh, sawhorse for fifty bucks. Us personally, we don't like to pay retail, so you check can definitely look on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, or Craigslist. Mm -hmm. um, you can check on there and you see might if know you somebody find... who can make them. Yeah, I mean, they real once we kind of give you an idea of what they are, then you, you they're not that hard to make. I wouldn't think. I don't think. Well, I'd buy them. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely buy them. Yeah. That's what we did, and we got them at the as is section, so we scored. So you can definitely search them on OfferUp. This is a search on OfferUp that we did. You can definitely find them um, under Sawhorse. And these are not adjustable, but you know, you can get the gist of it. You can definitely look on there and find some that are adjustable or just get some. Or if you're more hands-on, you can definitely find a tutorial video on YouTube on how to build one of these bad boys. So you can either have it all the way angled up. We don't like this way because when you do that, things tend to slide down like your phone if you put it down. So we've discovered that we like it. I think about like halfway about three up. or four mm -hmm. you know depending on on it's gonna help your back the higher it is because it's gonna be more at an at an angle towards you mm -hmm. so just keep that in mind that if you do have more back pain that if you go a little bit higher it'll be a little bit easier mm -hmm. it'll make your photos um look a little more directly angled the only issue this is a very important piece too. make yeah. sure you don't lose these because once you lose those yeah you could put something else in there but yeah well we tighten the front ones and then we just worry about this and we have the other two as a spare on the side in case they ever get lost or if a four-year-old comes in here and decides that this is a little person that belongs to his city. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we do that. And then once you have your board up, if you have space on the sides as well, you can always adjust them later on. It's not stuck in stone. This is, this is an adjustable for that reason. So if some days your back's hurting a little more and you decide that, you know, maybe you need to go up a little bit higher that day, that's fine for you. So here you can see us setting up. We just put the pallet directly onto the sawhorses, put our white sheet over it, adjust some lighting, and we are ready to take some pictures. Pretty simple. So this is what it looks like all set up. We have Jenny taking a picture. She's a little bit shorter than I am, so she does need some assistance getting up there. Uh, for me, it is right at my hip level. And just look how crisp and clean those pictures look. That looks really good, babe. Thank you. That looks awesome. So now we're actually gonna show you how we take our photos. As you know, on Poshmark and on eBay, square mode just fits in perfectly. Uh, the cool thing about it is that the iPhones do come with square mode, so you just go ahead and hit that option. And then you can see Jenny's focusing in on the shirt, and then bringing up the brightness is really simple. You just tap up and swipe up, and then she snaps the picture. Very simple, clean picture, as you can see. That's how we take our photos for eBay and Poshmark. So this is a beautiful part about our setup is that it's completely adjustable. Um, at this height, you wouldn't need any kind of stepping stool. You could just have it completely slanted like that. And then we have Jenny over here taking a photo the same way she would if it was laying oh, the other way. Oh, it has a little corner right there. Still looks really good. Still looks really good though. Nice and flush, maybe adjust the lights a little. Mm -hmm. And we're good to go. 
The light setup we have is the newer lights. They're called newer um, LED video light. These are pretty cool because you can adjust it and you can add more yellow to it. I don't know if you can see that in the video or you can make it crispy and white. We do have two of them uh, and we also have an affiliate link which we'll link down below. And if you purchase the newer lights through our affiliate link, we do get a certain percentage of that. So you help and that helps continuing these videos for you guys. Um, it's not very much, so we're not making millions off of it. But it is uh, like, what, 2% or something like that? Something. Something like that of the sale goes to us. I will link the link below for the newer lights. Link the link. Link the link below. <laughs> and then what's cool about the Ikea, um, Vinvard, whatever they're called, um, is that they have these little storage spots at the bottom. So sometimes we like to put stuff down there. And here's like a more in-depth of what the bottom looks like. Because it is on a pallet, um, it does grab on. It does grab on to this end of it. So it holds it from sliding down on you, which is pretty cool as well. And then I'm going to show you one more hack. If you do use it elevated this way, your phone... Where's your phone at, babe? I have it in my pocket. Your phone will slide down because gravity. So you get a pool noodle, you cut the pool noodle, and you can slide the pool noodle noodle right there, and it will make a sweet little save. Here's another little hack we have. Hanging our scissors and our... These are necessities when you're doing clothing. Right, our lint roller on our newer lights. But that's an awesome hack. That has, that has saved our phone several times. Yeah. So that was our flat lay setup video. A lot of people asked for it, so we had to do it. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you find anything that we could possibly modify or make it better or anything like that comes to mind, drop it in our comments. We yeah. would love to know. Definitely. We'd love to hear it. We're always open to better suggestions. Yeah, if you've already made this setup and you did something different to it, we'd love to hear about that. If you want to make this setup, Definitely do it. I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely don't pay retail though. Look for mm -hmm. anything you could find. We'll put on... that link to the um, do it yourself. Yeah. So maybe that if you take yeah. on that project, uh, <laughs> let us know. I would love to see how I'd, it comes out. I'd love to see how that comes that out. Would be so really cool. drop your comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. Hit that little bell notification because we we will be releasing more videos like this and mm -hmm. other stuff that we're planning on doing yep. uh, in the near future. So stay tuned. Again, if you want more info, more behind the seen stuff at thrifty nomads on ig is where you can find us we appreciate and love all of you guys thanks so much for watching bye till next time